<coughs> so <coughs> hi everyone uh, today uh, we want to explain a simple topic and i'm sure this topic is going to help you uh, many of you uh, this is actually uh, the topic is about uh, something about integration types and i'm sure many of you are aware uh, those have uh, gone through my previous sessions and i'm sure you are well aware about this uh, integration types from employee central so today i want to just give you an idea about uh, success factors uh, integration types okay so actually what happens right um, when you when you work in uh, success factors uh, you mostly know that there are two types of integrations uh, we have in uh, success factors one is internal integrations the second one is external integrations so internal integrations means integrating employee central with other success factors products so which means how are you going to integrate your employee central system with other success factors products so that will come under this this criteria comes under the internal integrations and i'll tell you which tool we have to use for the internal integrations what about the external integrations external integrations means integrating employee central with the external systems it, it can be any third party system or it can be even within our, uh, with our sap erp system also but today i just want to explain about you know internal integrations you know so that means uh, internal integrations means how can you exchange the data from employee central to the other success factors products so here if you see this a uh, simple screenshot uh, you can see that in front of you and you can see these are all different products we have in success factors and we call them as a talent solutions and you can see here employee central this we consider it as a core hr system now employee central is a place that where you are going to maintain the you know record of the employees but now you should exchange the data for example you are implementing performance management or maybe you are implementing a recruitment management or even including variable pay and compensation as well so now if you want to enable that you want to share the data between two systems so here how do we do these particular functionalities uh, where we are calling it as internal integrations with the help of the hris sync so we consider we call it as a human resources information system sync or in other words you can call it as a hris sync so with the help of this hris sync so what you can do you can exchange the data you can synchronize the data from your employee central to your any of the talent solutions but where do you configure for example in this uh, uh, today's uh, this small topic that i want to explain how do you integrate employee central with the employee profile okay so let us try to understand okay for example you see that uh, there are two uh, examples that you have here this is your employee central system and this is your employee profile or you can you call it as a live profile or some call it as a talent profile or you call it as a um, anything like employee profile whatever it is people profile you know you're not calling it as a people profile is not a right choice you either call it as a employee profile or live profile or talent profile why we call it as a live profile because you know in the employee profile the data is automatically updated as a live data how how it is possible it is simply because of the hris sync this hris sync helps you to exchange the data as a unidirectional which means one way so as soon as you update your employee central data let us say while you are adding a new employee maybe you are hiring a new employee so let us say you are entering first name last name date of birth gender 
let us say company department division you take any example so these fields are located in different portlets in employee central system or we call it as a person object employment of objects and uh, see let us say personal information in the personal information portlet of the employee profile you have something called a, a first name now i want the first name should be automatically updated in the employee profile how do you do it it is simply because of the hras sync where do you configure it it is in the succession data model or uh, as for the current versions you can directly do it even from the managed business configuration as well so here let us say i wanted to you know here uh, in the succession data model uh, you configure this uh, uh, employee central in the succession data model hras element section of the succession data model the employee profile you configure it through standard element section of the succession data model so what you will do with the help of this hras sync you are going to map employee central fields employee profile fields so now you have here in employee central let us say first name in employee profile you have a first name and in employee central you you take anywhere let us say it may employ the first name is there in the personal information portlet and again the name of the portlet is also very important maybe let us say department where is the department is located in uh, employee files in the job information so now i want that uh, department should be also updated on the employee profile so what to do now so you have to go to the succession data model go to the hras element the job info go and find out the department field take that external code or system id field and take this uh, a standard element field from the succession data model of the employee profile fields take those fields and then go to the hras sync in the succession data model and map it so through which you know that is why what happens right as soon as the, the data that is updated in the employee central automatically the data also updates as a live data or as up-to-date data to the employee profile so we call it as a hras sync hras sync is like it helps you to exchange the data from employee central to employee profile as a unidirectional so this is a, how do you do it it is simply because of the internal integration which is hras sync so i cannot open and show you it's just uh, only to give you an idea that how this concept works i'm giving you a complete idea maybe the only thing is lacking here is i'm not showing in xml but you can do it through xml or you can also do it from as for the uh, current versions you can directly go and do it um, through manage business configuration from admin center and through which what happens from the employee profile you know you can also call it as a uh, mini configuration of the employee central system employees and employee profile you can also call it as like that so from employee profile what happens suppose if you are going to uh, implement a performance management recruitment management compensation variable pay goal management so what happens so from employee profile the data also can be exchanged the data also can be internally integrated within the success factor system to any of the talent solutions again with the help of the hras sync similar format similar way that whatever you have done from employee central to employee profile so from employee profile to the talent solutions you'll be also doing it again with the help of the internal integrations and which we call it as a hras sync so how it is going to work actually so that means you are there in a performance management so that means you as an employee so you should when you launch your performance uh, a life cycle so you should be able to access the employee data sitting in a performance management but where is the employee data is coming from from the employee profile how did this employee profile data has come from it has come from the employee central system how it happened with the help of the hras sync so but remember once you have done a configuration let us say you have done your employee central to employee profile the hras sync has been configured in the uh, corresponding uh, data model we call it as a succession data model 
right so once i've done it but here i want to tell you two examples uh, by standard uh, in the hra sync mapping in the succession data model you have already a pre-configured uh, mapping from uh, hras element to the uh, uh, standard element fields uh, you know if in case if you want to configure let us say custom mapping so you can do it suppose if you want to configure hard coded mapping hard coded mapping so which means you want to config you want to map it usually how the mapping will be first name to first name last name to last name maybe let us say you want to do it like a hard coded mapping from employee central to employee profile let us say like this maybe department to the business unit or business unit to the division you see that it is not matching right so these kind of mappings are also possible but once the mapping is done again you have to go to the provisioning and there is a single and final step that you have to do is that we call it as a uh, hra sync job you know there is some kind of background job that you have to configure in the provisioning but when you configure your background job or we can call it as a sync job but usually uh, you know sync job the background jobs that usually runs based on the time zone of the data centers that your customer system is actually located so that's that's uh, one of the important thing that you should remember right so you know i hope you all uh, got the idea about what exactly the internal integration means uh, which we call it as a uh, hra sync and uh, so hope you all uh, got it what exactly uh, how exactly you can uh, integrate uh, uh, employee central to with uh, success factors products with the help of the hra sync and finally we call it as a internal integrations right thank you so much and hope we'll see you next time with the external integrations from employee central to the external systems okay thank you so much Bye everyone, see you next time.